Hey, what's up guys, Synapt here, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to resize video in Adobe Premiere and Adobe After Effects. Okay, let's get some video in here, and I'm gonna explain to you exactly why this is important. One of the things that happens is that not everybody's screen resolution is the same. If you wanna make a 1080p resolution video, but you capture at a slightly smaller resolution or a slightly smaller screen size, then what happens is you can sometimes get some black bars on the side of your video. And let me demonstrate. I'm gonna set up a video here that's 1920 by 1080. And when I drag this footage in, you can see that the video is actually smaller than the scene and there's black bars on the side. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to select this footage right here and I'm gonna to go to the effect controls. And if you could, you select on this motion tab right here, you can bring it down. And this is gonna let you set the position and the scale of this footage. You can move it all around. Um, you can make it larger or smaller. And this is basically the solution right here. And so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna increase this so that it fills the entire area of the screen. Uh, as you enlarge it, there might still be some black bars on the top or the bottom, in which case you can stretch it a little bit if you want like this. Unselect the uniform scale, and now you can increase the height and the width separately like that. So now it fills the entire region of the screen, and you have true 1920 by 1080, and you can see that it's not actually that bad. It's, it's going to work. This is some World of Warcraft footage from Evelyn, and this was used in Swifty's Legends of the Arena, a series that gets millions of views uh, on YouTube. So uh, you can go to Swifty's channel and watch this video and see if you like the quality and judge for yourself. Okay, but of course, true 1080 video is always gonna look better. This is true 1080 video here, and you can see uh, no resizing was necessary because it's already true 1080. The best thing you can do is if you're gonna make a 1080 video is to capture in 1080. That would require you to have a 1080 monitor. All right, guys, that's it for this video. You guys drive the content for this channel, so if you like this video and you learned something, please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments. Good luck and have fun.